Hello everyone and welcome back to another custom die cash review. Today we have good old KFB in the number 18 hazelnut spread uh, for the m ms car. This was from 2019. This is his Pocono win. He's won a Pocono quite a few times. Uh, this one was like just kind of the car I had to, I had sitting around. So I was like, yeah, I wonder if he won in any of these uh, paint schemes. And I was like, oh yeah, he did Pocono. Okay, that's what we're doing. Uh, so this is how that came about. I think it turned out pretty decent. I really like the paint scheme just kind of overall. And if you look real close in the paint scheme, it's very like sparkly. Got a very shiny effect to it. So that's uh, that's kind of something I remember for this paint scheme and just die cast in general. Very cool car. So we're going to go ahead and kind of review this die cast here. Not nothing really crazy. Uh, just something again I kind of threw together. Just I had the die cast kind of sitting around. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the hood. Which will be a green M&M, a red M&M, and a brown M&M. And of course you got the uh, hazelnut spread in the center. Got a little bit of race wear going on the front in here. Got Monster Energy. I might have to reprint that. That's a terrible, terrible banner. That one's going to have to be reprinted for sure. I'll actually go ahead and take that off because it's actually really bad. So I'm going to have to... What I need to do is I need to... Because like the paper doesn't ever print very well because I don't have the right setting. I have it for like a decal set. Uh, that way I don't have to keep switching it. So what I need to do is I need to just print out a bunch of, maybe not like a whole page, but like a bunch of different banners. That way it won't be paper and it can actually be stuck onto the windshield. Because I did a, like a decal there and it looks a lot better than what these are. So you see you can actually read crafting and here you can barely read Kyle Bush. So I might have to actually start doing some of those. Uh, banners and whatnot on actual like decal sheets. So I got the 18 right there, hazelnut spread, Kyle Bush. Again, probably have to reprint that one also. It's been kind of sent around for a while. Hazelnut spread on the deck lid there. On to the back, if we can zoom in a little bit, looks like we got some uh, wonky jaw job of a decal wrap here. This left the tail light is super like pulled away. You can see how it's supposed to be a little bit there, and that one's pulled uh, pretty far back. So good job line now on that one. Camry, hazelnut spread, Toyota. Got a little bit of the uh, race wear on the back here. Got the blue M&M with a little bit of race wear going on there as well. Ream hazelnut spread. Stanley three winner stickers that might be inaccurate according to the actual race. Um, Kyle Busch there. Interstate batteries, Cessna, Sherman Williams, Mac Tools, Deuceman, Lincoln Welder, Simons, Freightliner, Mobile One. Of course you got the uh, little exhaust plate there. Oh, on the B post we have Toyota, Joe Gibbs, uh, Snickers, right? Probably something there. Skittles, Pedigree, and something on the on the bottom. I can't read. A little bit more race wear going on here. NASCAR race car. I could have put the Monster logo now that I realize it. Mechanics wear 3M, k and and Lincoln Welders there. Got Goodyear, a little bit of race wear going on here. And something on the tire. Moog, Edelbrock, and Sunoco going on to the front here with the 18 and the front end being all kind of raced up. Pocono is always a fairly clean track when it comes to uh, like race wins. I never see any that have any damage. It's always just a little bit of race wear here and there, and then that's pretty much it for the Pocono. I mean, that's I mean, there's really not not much else to it. Joe Gibbs uh, there, Joe Gibbs Racing there. A little bit more race wear going down the side. Got the window net, of course. Hazelnut spread, all that fun stuff. Got a little bit of uh, burnout marks here from, of course, the burnout. I uh, got the fuel spillage here, a little bit of wear on the back end here. Then on the interior, interior, of course, you have the uh, painted uh, roll cage. You can kind of see that back there. Then, of course, you got the uh, detail on the dashboard. Got the steering wheel. It's a little hard to see, but steering wheel, gear shifter, and all that is painted along with the other side of the um, roll cage. Going on to the undercarriage of this car, we have a three three way combo of color here: silver, black, and red. You know that's just kind of your basic detail. Uh, it's a little sloppy around the end, uh, the edges, but they're kind of hard to kind of hard to do without touching that bottom, without you know not covering it all the way. So we got the exhaust, which is black. Got some of these little little sway links or something going on up here. And you got the bracket. For the transmission drive shaft, those are silver. Then of course you got the uh, the fuel tank down here, which is going to be red. And then you got this little little bitty red thing 
uh, right there also. Of course, you got the axles that are black, and then you got the little support brackets here, which are also black. So there is the die cast. Again, I will have to reprint uh, those banners because I've had them for quite some time. Got a bunch of customs coming out. If you could not tell, I've reviewed uh, quite a few here recently. I've even got uh, three, four... Five, five more that I haven't reviewed yet that I need to review and I'm still actually working on another set of customs that it's like six or seven uh, so we got plenty of customs to go around I'm trying to kind of stack up for the new year of uh, bottom egg die cast next year uh, 2024 of course we will, we will open back up with our waves and everything uh, I'm not closed as of right now I guess you could say uh, I'm probably going to squeeze out one or two more waves and then kind of call it a year and next year is going to be really planned out, uh, where this was the first time I've really kind of like started planning things. Next year is actually going to be like actually planned. How I had it before was I wanted to do these specific waves and then I would try to get them out. Now I'm going to have these waves pre-built, then sort them out and throw them out kind of whenever I feel like, you know, dropping a wave. So going to be great for next year. Uh, don't miss out. I, I mean, you don't have to buy anything. It just I like uh, seeing people's reactions to like uploads or like just cu uh, certain customs that I do. Seeing feedback on it that way, I kind of know uh, where I stand with my uh, skill set in customs. I would like to get a better variety of customs instead of just like race versions, race to wins, playoffs, and that's. It basically, I do want to have like a miscellaneous wave where it's like a bunch of random stuff like Xfinity, you know, like COT, COY, uh, maybe like a truck in there, random wins, random race versions, you know, just kind of like stuff that don't really fit anywhere else. I kind of want to throw it into a miscellaneous wave, see how that does. And we're going to try something new next year as to uh, where. I'm going to see if I can just do like just a standard wave, like no race wins, uh, no, you know, race uh, versions, no crashes, no old school cars, you know, nothing like that. Just normal custom paint schemes. I've got a lot of thinking to be thunking, so uh, definitely got to get the uh, the old noggin working uh, with, you know, what I'm going to do, how I'm going to do it. But it's been a success ever since I started. You guys are fantastic. Even if you haven't bought a single thing, I don't care. You're great. You are part of the reason why I've still been here, and everything's been going really good. I mean, just from feedback to, uh, like, just criticism, you know, reasonable criticism, uh, just, you know, all kinds of stuff. It really helps me kind of improve and kind of tweak some things. That way things are better, and that's all because of you guys, so thank you so much. And with that being said, didn't mean to ramble on again, but that'll also conclude this custom diecast review. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next video.